Okay, so what are we going to get into today? I got a clue. I have a whole box of peaches. Hey, it's peach season, so got to make some peach brandy, all right? But, but I say, we're going to make peach brandy three different ways, kind of. Okay. But we're going to make it three different ways. So you're going to have to watch the whole series to the end. I, I'm, I'm guessing it's going to take three parts to get this all done. Uh, but uh, make sure you come back. But first things first. Welcome to Still Works and Brew. My name is Randy and this is a channel that's all about home distillation and brewing. Alright, let's. we got a lot of work to do. So let's get started making this brandy. First thing we got to do is... Uh, I bought these peaches at the local uh, orchard and they are what they call seconds because they got blemishes on them. That didn't bother me any. They are nice and ripe. That's what I wanted. And uh, I got a half a bushel basket and it was 20 bucks. Couldn't beat that. That's why I had to make some peach brandy. And I did weigh the boxes 28 pounds. So that's 28 pounds of peaches. I did taste some one and it is, they are delicious peaches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put them in this bucket here. It's actually my sieve bucket and I want to rinse them off just in case they got something on there that ain't too good. It is a lot of peaches. I mean, I think they're in the heights of their season right now. I believe in my area anyway. So, uh, go ahead and get yourself some peaches if you can. Make yourself some peach brandy. Alright. It's going to be a complete five gallon bucket full, ain't it? Let me get these all rinsed off and then uh, we'll start preparing these peaches. Okay? It's going to take a while to do all these peaches. <coughs> what I want to do is I want to cut out any bad spots. And I want to make sure I get rid of this little uh, stem thing. And then we have to take the uh, stone out of it. If you get stone out, I just circle around like that, give her a twist. And then you just kind of. Grab it out of there like that. Uh, yeah, don't you have, don't put your stones in. They say they're toxic. Well, I heard now if it's true or not, I don't know. And uh, we're just gonna kind of cut it up small, and then I'm gonna throw it in my fer uh, sanitized fermenter there. Oh, they're nice and juicy. Have a bunch of one out of a bunch. Where, there it is. Let 
Oh, this is going to be a darn good drink. Hope you got to see me. Make, I made some peach shine the other day. Last uh, moonshine Wednesday. Hope you enjoyed that. It was delicious. People are loving it. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta make stuff with what's in the season, like peaches. And it don't hurt that they're so damn delicious, does it? Huh? Okay, so let me get these. Let me get these. Uh, prepared and then uh, we'll be back okay Okay, I got all my fruit mashed up in here. I started to cut it, but then I figured it was easier just to mash it. So I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of peptic enzyme. That would help break down the fruit, but this fruit's pretty, it's right, it's nice and right. I want it, it's perfect for me. So, so we're going to add that enzyme in there. And for what right, I'm going to do right now, is I want to add enough water basically to cover the fruit up. Look, look at that. Can you see it? Alright, I'm going to leave it that for right now. now all right so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this paint mixture and I'm gonna kind of chew it up a little bit more let's give it a good mix and good chewing That's a 
nice slurry. You know, it's like, oh. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this bed an hour or so to, um, whoop. <laughs> I'm going to give this bed an hour. I'll put a cover on just to keep anything out of it. Little critters, little bugs. Alright, and I'm going to get after that, then I'm going to add the water level up to where I want it. And give it a good stir. Then I'm going to check it, check the, uh, see how much sugar I got in that. Check my starting gravity. Most likely, I can imagine that I'm going to have to add some sugar to it. I want to, I would like, Somewhere in the neighborhood of 180, 1.080. Uh, that's where I like it. Uh, that gives me a pretty good yield out of it. And, uh, okay, so I'll see you in about an hour. Okay, to let you know where I'm at is uh, I added up water into my firm matter. I added up to about 9 gallons. And then I checked my starting gravity. It was a little bit on the low side, but it's kind of what I expected at 1.030. So it is. I took some water and sugar, heated up till I melted the sugar, then added it in because I wanted to kind of boost the temperature up just a, a little bit in my in my fermentation here. So I rechecked my starting gravity, and it is at 1.0. 060 maybe 62 somewhere in that neighborhood uh, I was looking for 1.080 but you know what I'm gonna just leave it right here I don't want to add no more and uh, so what I'll do is I'll add my yeast I'm gonna put it in my fermentation room and we're gonna ferment this out for um, you know week to ten days and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna distill this and uh, it'll be some pretty fantastic uh, brandy uh, I think it will be. I think it's going to turn out real nice. Um, so, let me get that done. I guess the last thing I got to say is, hey, thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next time here on Still Works and Brewing. Cheers, everybody. Then I got to clean my mess up.